Hey guys, I wanted to cover a topic that I've covered before, but today I'd like to go a little bit more in depth on it. I want to talk about the stabilizer tool and how it can affect your art process and your art style. I will be using Paint Tool Sci for this, but if you use another program that has a stabilizer feature, it should work all the same. Post correction or correction tools are typically similar to the stabilizer or sometimes they work in conjunction with the stabilizer tool so maybe snoop around your art program a little bit and see if it has something similar so what is a stabilizer tool it's kind of hard to neatly wrap up in one sentence but it has to do with how smooth you want your line art to be and how responsive you want your pen stroke to feel the easiest way to explain is to just try it yourself unfortunately but i'm going to do my best to give all the examples you need to better understand the tool. Firstly, before we jump in, I should clarify that you need a tablet or a drawing tool with pen pressure in order for the stabilizer to have any effect on Psy. If you're using a mouse to draw, changing the stabilizer won't affect your line at all, unfortunately. Secondly, this is where you can find the stabilizer tool. If you happen to have Mog Studio, this is where you can find it there. These are the two programs that I use that I know have a stabilizer tool, but a lot of other programs do. So just, again, snoop around a little bit if these aren't the two programs you use. So, what do these numbers mean? Generally, the higher the number, the smoother the line art. Zero essentially disables the stabilizer and gives you quick, raw lines. If you jump to 15, on the other hand, you'll immediately feel the difference. It might feel slower, but your line art will definitely look smoother. When you first try a high stabilizer, your lines will probably look a little funky to you. This is especially noticeable whenever you try to do anything related to handwriting or words. You also might experience a little unintentional tail to your lines with a high stabilizer setting. You can avoid this tail by drawing a little bit slower and pausing at the end of your lines or whenever you're about to pick up your pen, or you can fully embrace the tail lines and go back and just manually clean the lines up a little bit. After 0 through 15, Psy has settings S1 through S7. So how are these different? Firstly, these are all very smooth line settings, and admittedly, I don't use them super often. I know lots of people like to use S1 when they want smooth lines, and it's really not too different from the stabilizer setting 15. I think the main difference is that for S1, the end of the line is normally quick and sharp. Again, I heavily recommend trying it out yourself to see what I mean, but almost every time you lift the pen up, it will more abruptly end than a 15 stabilizer would. On the plus side, this basically eliminates any of the tails that you might see when your stabilizer is at 15. But again, test it out, it can kind of change your overall line art shape. For example, let's try writing Kitty Couch with the settings that we've learned so far. This is the speed that I instinctively write and draw with. Since zero is effectively off, this handwriting looks natural to me. Now I'll write the same thing at the same speed but with my stabilizer kicked up to 15. Immediately, you can see the difference. There's lots of tails, and everything is a little bit more curvy than it was the first time. Now, I'll try it again on 15, but this time I'll take a little bit more time in between letters. Now it looks smoother and closer to my original handwriting, even though we can still see some tails in there. Next, let's try kicking it up one more to S1 and try at my usual speed. This time the lines have completely changed shape. But before we dismiss it, let's try S1 again, but at a slower writing pace. Just like before with 15, I'll take my time with each letters and kind of pause before I pick up my pen. That looks more like my handwriting. You might notice that the tails that we saw on the 15 stabilizer don't really show up for S1, but there's still that nice smoothness to it that I think a lot of people want. Finally, let's try our hand at S7. Basically, it super corrects your lines, which is why these lines look super straight. Also noticeable is how much thinner the lines look despite the brush size not changing. In order to get it to look like my handwriting, I have to go very slowly. 
I'm sure there's lots of neat tricks you can do with S7, but personally, I have never been moved to use it for my line art. But the way it interacts with pen pressure is definitely interesting, and I'm sure there's a few tricks you can do with it that I just haven't come across yet. Now that we've seen the major differences with the stabilizer tool, how do we apply it to art and not just words? A great practice I would recommend is trying to draw a piece from beginning to end on a single stabilizer setting. By the end of each drawing, you'll probably form a preference, like I hated doing this and that with the high stabilizer, or like it was so much easier to do this, that, and the other thing with the low stabilizer, and it'll just kind of force you to experience the stabilizer tool for what it is. If you're asking for my opinion on what stabilizer setting you should use, I typically recommend using a low stabilizer for things like sketches and a middle stabilizer setting, probably around 7, for your typical line art, and then kicking it up to 15 for anything that you might consider wispy, like hair or lashes, or anything that you just want that really strong curve on. That being said, I almost do all of my art with no stabilizer on nowadays, but that is purely preference and practice for me. Five years ago, I was deeply invested in keeping my stabilizer at 15 for the whole drawing, and I still like to go back to it depending on what kind of drawing I'm doing. So anyways, let's do a quick recap on the stabilizer settings that we've talked about. Stabilizer Zero. The pros would be that it feels more natural to draw with and it's great for sketching and handwriting, but the cons can be that it looks rough and blobby sometimes. For Stabilizer 15, the pros would be that it's super smooth and clean and it's great for hair and lashes, but the cons would be that it can kind of feel unnatural to draw on and it's not as quick to respond as the low stabilizer. And also you might have to clean up some of the line art tails that it creates. For stabilizer setting S1, the pros are that it's super smooth and clean, just like 15, and that there's no tail, but the con would be that you kind of have to take your time on the lines in order to avoid them looking too funky or too corrected. Stabilizer S7. Pros are that it can make some really straight or really curved lines. Um, <laughs> it doesn't really feel fair to me to talk about pros and cons for this one just because I, I don't use it, but it's neat. <laughs> that's, that's all I can think to say on it. So anyways, I hope this tutorial was useful to you and that you might feel inspired to try and draw maybe on an unusual stabilizer setting and to just sort of play around with it and experience it for what it is. And thank you for watching.